What's up everyone? I hope you had an amazing Air Max day. Unfortunately, I didn't because I took a big L on those Royal and Volt Air Max ones. They shock dropped, so I thought I might've had a chance, but they must have been pretty limited. Even though overseas they sat for a bit, there's just a lot of resellers and they're currently going for like almost $100 over retail. Luckily, I still grabbed these. For some reason, these didn't drop on Air Max day. They dropped a few days before. It's probably because Nike wanted to promote those Air Max DNs. In my opinion, those are okay. I did like the Supreme ones because I like the spell out on the side, but I don't know if I'll review them. Let me know in the comments if I should. But for today, we're gonna check out the Air Max One Big Bubble in the Royal Colorway. These retail for 150 and they're actually sitting on a lot of websites. I'm not a big surprise because the sneaker market's kind of down. A lot of people didn't like the last Air Max One Big Bubbles, but I personally do like them. First off, let's check out the box. We do have that special 86 Big Bubble box, same as the last one. And the reason why I do like the Air Max One Big Bubbles is because they do use a lot of synthetic materials. So the upper is mostly the synthetic suede, which feels like a felt-like material and mesh upper. Just like a lot of Air Max Ones, they use a lot of synthetic materials, not all of them. Let me know if you wanna make a video kind of breaking down all the Air Max Ones that have synthetic materials. These are also a women's release. I don't know the reason behind that, but I grabbed an 11 and a half, which is a men's 10. I usually go up a half size for the Air Max Ones because I have wide feet. I have a good amount of toe room, but I'm okay with that. But my only issue was that I did have some heel slippage, so I had to wear the right socks for that not to happen. And I also have to make sure to have the laces pretty tight. I did review the ones last year, but I got rid of them because I wasn't a big fan of the red colorway but i love this royal blue so i had to pick them up even though right now they're currently going 50 dollars under retail on stock x so if you haven't grabbed a pair maybe wait a little bit because they might go under or just try to get them like for a hundred dollars because i paid 150 dollars on the nike site plus tax but you might be able to look around and just wait a bit get it for hundred dollars and like i said i tried these on some people are saying they're more comfortable than regular air max ones I completely disagree. They feel just like any other Air Max one. The midsole isn't super comfortable. Maybe over time it'll break in, but I'm not 100% sure because I never broke in the last pair. Also, if you have normal to narrow feet, stay true to size. Everyone's foot is a little bit different. I have wider feet, so I tend to go up half a size if a shoe kind of bothers me and they feel a little too tight. And for ratings, I'm gonna use the Cal Free Kicks rating. So he uses the looks, comfort, breathability, weight, and price. I'm gonna give these, I'd say a three. For looks, I'd probably give it like a four maybe 4.5, but overall, I unfortunately had to give these a three just because I had some issues with like the quality, some threads kind of sticking out. Also, the comfort isn't there. Sizing is a little bit weird, but the best thing about this is the looks and the materials. That's gonna be it for the video. Let me know if you have any other questions and I'll see you next time. Peace.